Tony's restaurant spent decades downtown, but now it has a new location. The official opening is later this month, but our Steve Harris got a behind the scenes sneak preview. Centene Plaza in Clayton has a familiar name out front. Tony's restaurant has been around since 1946. This is their third location. A year ago, COVID closed restaurants. So when the opportunity in Clayton came up, it made sense. So rather than reopening downtown, we decided to move eight miles west to Clayton. It's kind of a homecoming for James. I grew up in Clayton. I live two blocks from here. That's exciting to me. And I was excited to see the new restaurant. We put in a temperature reader. The first thing you'll see is a state-of-the-art COVID safety measure. So basically when you walk in the door, you see that little green box around my face? Well, it's taking my temperature. We commissioned a, a artist by the name of America Martin to paint that flower pattern for us. The dining room decorated in cherry wood, stone steps, and Andy Warhol on the wall. The kitchen is bigger, but still, no talking is allowed. Everything's done over a microphone. If you have more than one person talking, there's confusion and there's attention and it causes mistakes. Downstairs, they've built their own bakery with a lift for sending food to the kitchen. And in the parking garage, a car wash for customers. Back upstairs, the bar and casual dining. But part of what makes Tony's a St. Louis staple is tradition. You'll still see the pictures of famous faces on the wall and of course, the food. Our menu that we've had, that we had before March, or March 17th when we moved, it's gonna stay the same. A new location for an old favorite. I hated to leave it, but I mean, we're moving on. Steve Harris, News 4.